This video is about recognizing mineral toxicity in venous fly traps. Come along. Leaves dying on your venous fly traps is very normal. Oh, sad little trap there. That's normal. 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 What's not normal is when the baby traps start to die. That's a baby trap right there. And this is a baby trap. If the baby traps start dying right at the tips, or like right where the mouths, the future mouths of the trap will be, that's a serious sign. Now this is nature, so we'll give it a little wiggle room for like you know, just random deaths. Sometimes things just be dying in nature. But if it becomes a pattern where the baby traps keep dying, where that little mouth, future mouth will be, but the tips, that's a big bad thing. And that's typically the sign of mineral toxicity. As we know, Venus fly traps are very delicate, little murder beasts. High mineral contents in their water slash soil just straight up kill them. So if you're seeing consistent signs of mineral toxicity, you need to rinse your soil. I've made a video on how to do that. Or just transplant them completely. You don't want your babies dying. And depending on what it is that caused it, sometimes you have some weird symptoms like old leaves that are supposed to just just die straight away will linger around in this weird state where they're this weird like brownish gold color for weeks that's just some weird stuff typically it's just the baby leaves will start dying at the tip slash the little mouth future mouth of the plant future mouth of the trap yeah don't ignore that <laughs> all right this has been another video mm -hmm.